We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah for you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Jehovah, are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord, we are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, Omega, there is no one like you. All other God, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. All other God, all other God, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you there is no like you jehovah the man of war the prince of peace the king of kings and the everlasting god father tonight we worship we glorify and we bless your name we appreciate you, Lord, because you are our God, you are our maker, you are our everything. Lord, be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified. We we'll thank you because you are our Lord, our Savior. You are our light, you are our redeemer, you are our defender, you are our everything. We we'll thank you, Lord, because you are the man of war, the one that is fighting our battles for us day by day, night by night. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We are grateful, Lord, for the covenant of life. We are grateful, Lord, for the blood of the son jesus that was shed on the cross of calvary we are grateful for the authority and power in your name and in your world we are grateful of because you are our strength you are our redeemer you are our everything lord accept our thanks in jesus name mighty and everlasting god we know we have sinned against you we pray for mercy tonight father have mercy upon us in jesus name wash away all our sins and give us the new spirit the, the spirit of holiness of righteousness the spirit to stand in the lord all the days of our lives in the name of jesus tonight let the heavens over us go open and let the word of god come directly from the throne of grace and locate our homes in the name of jesus lord we are grateful for everything oh lord we are grateful for the food for the shelter for the clothing we are grateful lord, for your peace in our life we are grateful lord, for not allowing us to fall into the hands of the wicked lord accept our thanks in jesus name father tonight demonstrate your power tonight shame the devil tonight Put the darkness to shame before us in the name of Jesus. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lord, I surrender myself before you. Whatever is in me that will make me not to speak heresy. Whatever is in me, Lord, that will make me not to be afraid of the devil or to be afraid of the kingdom of darkness. Father, Lord, by your word and by your power, break me down, remove me, strengthen me, O Lord, and make me, Lord, a new vessel in Christ Jesus, filled with Holy Ghost and with fire. Use me, O Lord, to speak the word of truth, the word of fire, the word of peace, the word, O God, that will depopulate the kingdom of darkness and will populate your own kingdom. To you be the glory, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We declare this service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, I bring you good news in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And my prayer to God Almighty is for God to over answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you tonight, don't be afraid. 
God is on your side. Don't be afraid of the threat of the devil. Don't be afraid of the threat of the enemies. Don't be afraid of their weapons. Don't be afraid when they come against you like flood. For God is on your side. He will lift up a standard against them. Your enemy shall be put to shame. All those that are boasting with diabolical powers, all those using their evil position to terrorize you, the Lord will shame them in the name of Jesus. Open your Bible quickly to Psalm 11 verse 2. Psalm 11 verse 2. Today is Tuesday, the day, the day specially ordained by God to be praying for our homes. And I pray tonight that every power or spirit or entities terrorizing your homes, the Lord will disappoint and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Tonight is the night that I want you to get angry in your spirit, to pray against those who are after your home, those who want your home to scatter, those that are praying for your home to be destroyed. I want you to rise up in anger and pray against them. And as you pray, may God Almighty over answer our prayers and put the devil to shame, put the enemies of our homes to shame in Jesus' name. In Psalm 11 verse 2, the Bible says, For lo, the wicked bend their bow. That means the wicked, they have weapons. For, for lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the strings, that they may privately shot at the upright in heart. The enemies are always preparing for war. The enemies, they have their weapons. The enemies, they have all kinds of devices, all kinds of tactics to be used to secretly and to openly destroy the upright in heart. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that the weapons of the enemies shall not prevail against you. The weapons of the wickedness of your father's house shall not tear your marriage apart in the name of Jesus. And in Isaiah 54 verse 17, I want you to believe in God tonight. Believe in the word of God. In Isaiah 54 verse 17, the Bible says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Even though the enemies, they have made their bows ready. They have made their arrows ready. But the Bible is now telling you and I tonight, according to Isaiah 54 verse 17, that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every thong that shall rise up against thee, in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the law, and the righteousness is of me, saith the law. No weapon from against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against you. I don't know those who are ganging up against you. I don't know those who are preparing demonic and dangerous weapons to attack you. But by the word of God, I want you to stand tonight. That weapons from against me shall not prosper. Evil hands raised up against me shall not prosper. Evil tongues raised up against me shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, pray like this with holy anger. Say, O oh Lord God, my Father, let the wicked around me die with their weapons. O oh Lord God, my Father, let the wicked around me die with their weapons. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, let all the wicked enemies, let all my wicked enemies, oh God, around me die with their weapons. Die with their weapons. Die with their weapons. Die with their weapons. Wicked enemies around me. Enemies in my father's house. Enemies in my mother's house. Enemies in my mother's house. Around me. Die with your weapons. Enemies in my place of work. Die with your weapons. Die with your weapons. Die with your weapons. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, arrows prepared for my soul by the wicked backfire in the name of Jesus. Evil arrows prepared for my soul by the wicked in the name of Jesus. Backfire, backfire, backfire. Wicked arrows prepared for my soul, prepared for the souls of my children, prepared for the soul of my wife by the wicked enemies. Hear the voice of the living God. Backfire, 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 backfire. Open your mouth and pray against the wicked arrows that has been prepared for your family. Let the arrows backfire sevenfold. Let the arrows backfire seven times. Let the arrows backfire sevenfold. Let the arrows backfire seven times. In Jesus' name, we are praising evil arrows targeted at my heart. Evil arrows targeted at my heart. Hear the voice of the Lord. 
die in the name of Jesus. Evil arrows targeted at my heart. Hear the voice of the Lord. Fall inside fire and die. 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 Fall inside fire and die. Fall inside fire and die. Fall inside fire and die. Fall 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 and die. In Jesus' name we are praising enemies waiting to mock my prayers. Enemies waiting to mock our prayers tonight. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Enemies waiting to mock me. Enemies waiting to mock my prayers. Enemies waiting to mock my destiny. Enemies waiting to mock us tonight. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Enemies waiting to mock my children. Enemies waiting to mock my glory. Waiting to mock my prayers. Waiting to mock my glory. Waiting to mock my prayers. Waiting to mock my destiny. Destiny, waiting to mock my future. You are a liar. No, no, call Jesus to die. In the name of Jesus, command the enemies to die. They must die. They must die. They must die. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. On that time in his presence, my prayer to God Almighty is for God to shame your enemies, the enemies of your homes. The Lord will arise and shame them in the name of Jesus. All those that are saying you will not have a settled home, the Lord God Almighty will destabilize their lives in the name of Jesus. All those attacking the peace of your home, their lives shall become pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. To his glory, we shall be looking at what the Lord has given us the grace tonight to look into, which is titled, If the Foundations Be Destroyed. If the foundations be destroyed, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In Psalm 11 verse 3, Psalm 11 verse 3, the Bible says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Beloved, you and I, as sons and daughters of the Most High God, must not wait for the enemies to attack our foundations before we start praying. The enemies, they understand, they know quite well the importance of foundation. That's why the enemies, they are always cleverly embedded in man's foundation to destroy the future of a man. That's why I beg of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't wait till when the enemies start attacking before you paralyze their activities around you. Enemies are clever. Enemies are very deceitful. Enemies are very subtle. Enemies are very, very dangerous. That's why I encourage you tonight, beloved. Don't be gentle with the enemies. The enemies attacking your foundation, they are not friendly. Because if the foundation be destroyed, the whole building will collapse. If the foundation be destroyed, the whole structure will be shattered to pieces. There are so many glorious lives that the enemies have gone down to the foundation to destroy them. And their glory has been shattered to pieces. That's why I want you to pray tonight. Say, powers attacking my foundation. You and I, remember that you and I are carriers of glory. We are carriers of divine glory of God. And the enemies are not happy that you are a glory carrier. And they will do everything and anything possible to destroy the manifestation of that glory. Some people, you will see them at the peak of their careers, at the peak of their destinies. They will just fall into errors that will bring them from glory to disgrace. They will fall from glory to disgrace. That will not be your portion. That's why I'm encouraging you tonight to pray to pray against the enemies attacking the foundation of your life, of your home, of your career, of your ministry, of everything that God has given unto you. Pray like this. Say, enemies attacking my foundation. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Enemies attacking the foundation of my home. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Enemies attacking my foundation. Enemies attacking the foundation of my home. You are a liar. Die. 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 Command the enemies to die. They must die. They must die. They must die. In Jesus' name we are praying. Foundation are not visible to the naked eyes. Foundations are structures 
embedded in the ground upon which the the glorious and physical things can be built before a home is built there is always a foundation and the foundation is always in the ground not visible to naked eyes but people see the buildings they see the beauty of God in the building, but the foundation is not seen. But the foundation is what is carrying the building. If a building is going to last long, it depends on the foundation. And if a building is going to collapse, it depends on the foundation. You will pray like this. Say, powers that want me to collapse in life. Powers that want my money to collapse. You are dead tonight. Da, 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 da. That had the power that wants my marriage to collapse, that wants my home to collapse, that wants my future to collapse, that wants my glory to collapse, that wants my destiny, that wants my job to collapse. You are dead tonight. Die in the name of Jesus. Die. Die. Open your mouth and pray for those powers to die. They must die. They must die. They must die. Any power that wants my marriage to collapse, that wants my future to collapse, that wants my glory, that wants my career, that wants my job to collapse, that wants my business to collapse. You are dead tonight in the name of Jesus. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. According to the scripture, beloved, it says, If the foundation be destroyed, meaning foundations can be destroyed, the foundation of anything can be destroyed, the foundation of a home can be destroyed, the foundation of a ministry can be destroyed, the foundation of a career can be destroyed. The foundation of relationship can be destroyed. The foundation of a business can be destroyed. And when the foundation is destroyed, what can we do? Beloved, the answer is this. Don't wait for the foundation to be destroyed before you start praying. But if the foundation is destroyed, you can still get the foundation back by praying to God to revive and to restore the foundation. Praise the Lord. There are, there are some things in life that can destroy a foundation. There are some things. Number one, polygamy. Polygamy is one of the greatest destroyers of foundation. Where there is polygamy, no matter how gigantic the building may be, the witchcraft of polygamy will scatter the structure. The witchcraft of polygamy, the demons... Sponsoring polygamy will destroy the structure. Number two is idol worship. Idol worship is another foundational destroying power. In a home where idols are being worshipped, no matter how great that home may be, it will eventually collapse because why the idols and the demons behind the idols they are worshipping will eventually eat up the foundation. Next is evil and ungodly names. I beg of you in the name of Jesus, if your names are not related to God, if you are bearing names associated with idols or other gods, it will affect the foundation of that life. Next is causes. So many people, the dangerous and the demonic world have caused them. And no matter how high they have gone in life, the causes will still find the way into the foundation to bring them down. I pray in the name of Jesus, causes issued against you that we eat up your foundation shall not prosper against you in the name of Jesus. Causes, pray this prayer with boiling anger. Say, causes issued against my life to destroy my foundation. Go back and destroy your owner in the name of Jesus. Causes issued against my life to destroy my foundation. Causes issued against my children's life, against my wife's life to destroy their foundations. Go back to your center and destroy. Destroy your sender. Destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your sender. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Evil blood and ungodly sacrifice can destroy a foundation. A foundation that is established upon evil blood and demonic sacrifice can never support a glorious life. So when a foundation is diabolical, that life will be ruined. No matter how great life may be, the life will be ruined by the demons responsible for the evil sacrifice and the evil blood. 
Next is wearing of strange garment. When a life is always putting on strange garment, the demons behind the strange garment will eventually destroy the foundation. Next is evil marks on the body. When a life is wearing demonic jewelries and ev and evil marks on the body, the demons behind those things will eventually eat up the foundation of that life. In fact, wherever the above things that you have mentioned, wherever they are found, the demon or demons in charge will rule over that life and will eventually bring down the life. Those who are idol worshippers, those who are friends with polygamy, at the end of age, they are always coming down because the demons will not allow them to enjoy what they ought to have enjoyed if they have their foundation purged from all these evil destroyers. Beloved, there are diverse kinds of foundation. Your marriage has a foundation. The home has a foundation. Your job has a foundation. Your business has a foundation. Everything has a foundation. That's why tonight is the night to pray. Don't wait till when the enemies are attacking the foundation before you pray for your foundation to receive fresh fire from God. You hear this, beloved? God will not answer the prayers of a sinner. And God will not fight the battles for sinners. It is only those who are in the good books of God, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, that Jesus will fight their battles. Are you here tonight? And you are here to surrender your life to Christ? Are you here tonight? Or you were once with Christ, and now you are now in the world. You can find your way back into Christ. Find your way back before Him. Tell Him you are sorry. Tell Him from tonight you want Him to be your Lord and personal Savior. Tell Him to come into your life and purge you. The problems that many people are passing through in life is not as a result of their beauty. It's as a result of their foundation. The foundation can destroy anything. The foundation can make a man to go far in life. And as well can make a man... To remain stagnant the foundation can destroy the beauty of a life it can destroy the works of a hand it can destroy a home the beauty of a home can be shattered to pieces if the foundation is destroyed pray like this beloved for your home pray like this beloved for the foundation of your home pray like this beloved for god to deliver your home from those destroying forces pray with holy anger say Wicked powers in my father's house, in charge of my foundation. Wicked powers in my father's house, in charge of my foundation. Your time is up. Die, Lord, call Jesus. Die. Die. Every wicked powers. Wicked powers in my father's house. In charge of my foundation. Wicked powers in my father's house. In charge of the foundation of my home. You are a liar. Your time is up. Expire. Die. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, my father, put the foundation of my home with your fire in the name of the oh lord god my father pour the foundation of my home with your fire pour the foundation of my home with your fire 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 in jesus name we are praying say materials of darkness buried in my foundation that is now troubling my home wherever you are be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Materials of darkness buried in my home that is now troubling the peace of my home. Wherever you are, be roasted by fire. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, enemies, say, my home will not stand. Enemies, say my home will not stand. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Enemies, say my home will not stand. Enemies, say my home will not be 
will not be in peace. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, those causing my marriage to scatter. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. All those that are causing my home to scatter, the Lord scatter you. 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 All those that are causing my marriage to scatter, the Lord scatter you. The Lord scatter you. The Lord scatter you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say those going to dangerous coven in order to destroy my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. All those that are going to dangerous covens in order to destroy my marriage, your time is up. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I decree by the decree of heaven that from this day on, the foundation of your home shall stand in Christ in the name of Jesus. Every form of anything buried in your foundation to cause crisis for your home, anything buried in your foundation to cause chaos, to cause tragedy, to cause accident, shall be rooted out in the name of Jesus. Shall be rooted out, shall be rooted out, shall be rooted out, shall be rooted out in the name of Jesus. I decree by the decree of heaven that whosoever is attacking your home from the foundation, whosoever is waging war against your home from the foundation, shall die, shall die, shall die, shall die, shall die, die in the name of Jesus. I decree by the authority in the word of God that from today, whosoever is polluting your foundation, whosoever is putting water of affliction on your foundation, whosoever is raining curses upon your foundation, they shall be wasted. They shall be wasted. They shall be wasted. They shall be wasted. In the name of Jesus, from today, your home shall be sweeter than honey. The Lord will be the Lord of your home. The Lord will make your home to stand. In the name of Jesus, your home shall be built upon Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more crisis in your home. No no more tragedy, no more weeping, no more crying, no more pains in your home. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will restore beauty back to your home. The Lord will restore joy back. The Lord will restore your home back. Happiness shall be restored back. Peace shall be restored back. Finance shall be restored back. Increase shall be restored back. Blessings shall be restored back. In the name of Jesus, the glory of your home shall shine. In the name of Jesus, I decree, I say, the glory of your marriage shall shine. In the name of Jesus, every enemies of your home shall be baptized times from tonight with shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. I soak your life in the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost and I prophesy upon your life that anyone born of a woman that will wage war against you shall die before thee. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will cause your enemies that shall rise up against thee to be smiting before thy face. They shall come against thee one way in seven ways by the word of God. They shall flee. They shall scatter. They shall flee. They shall scatter. They shall flee. They shall scatter. In the name of Jesus, those who are planning dangerous attack against you by the word of God. They shall die in the attack themselves. In the name of Jesus, they shall die in the attack themselves. In the name of Jesus, I pray in your place of work, whosoever will be praying or waging war against you, the Lord will declare their position vacant in the name of Jesus. They shall be dismissed. They shall be dismissed. They shall be dismissed. Your enemies shall be dismissed. The troublers of your peace, the troublers of your joy, the troublers of your happiness, anywhere they are, the Lord will locate them and disappoint them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will locate them and deal with them in the name of Jesus. From today, anywhere you go, people will see the glory of God in you. Your enemies shall bow before thee. The Lord will fight your battles for you. Anywhere you get to, even people that does not even know who you are, they shall serve you. They shall fight for you in the name of Jesus. Where you have never been, the name of God will go ahead of you and speak for you in the name of Jesus. You are favored. You are favored. You are favored. You are blessed. All the days of your life, you are favored. You are blessed. 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 Every emblem of hatred upon your life is canceled by the blood of Jesus. Every mark of rejection is canceled by the blood of of Jesus. Every battles, inherited battles, shame and disgrace, they are cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, 
it is settled. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing to share the good news, tell the whole world that they need to be praying for their foundation. They should not wait for the foundations to be destroyed before they start praying. We meet every day, 6 p.m. marriage time till last 6 on Facebook and YouTube Live. Tomorrow is another time. Wednesday is the day to pray for our children. Let's come together and pray for the destinies of our children to rise. Our children will rise and they will not fall in the name of Jesus. In the land of the living, our children shall be great. They shall do great and mighty exploit. Whosoever is waging war against our children, God Almighty will strike those powers dead in the name of Jesus. Our children shall not end their lives in the prison. They will not end their lives in tragedy in the name of Jesus. But the beauty of God, the glory of God, shall overshadow our children in the name of Jesus. Let's come together tomorrow, 6 p.m. Marriage time. Invite your friends and share the good news. And as you do so, may God Almighty establish you, bless you, increase you, honor you, and make you victorious in every battles of life in the name of Jesus. The enemies will not win you. I encourage you tonight, Oh God by his word, God will never fail. Whosoever will wage war against you, shall die in that war in the name of Jesus. As Goliath died before David, so shall all your boasting enemies be wasted before thee in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. Remember, beloved, God can never fail. Man can fail, but your God that we serve, the living God, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and the earth, will never fail. Hold God by His word. No matter what you are passing through, God is there and He will give you new songs and you will come out victorious in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Till we meet tomorrow, keep shining the Lord, and God bless you. Bye.